Welcome back to the Trade Society Traders Improve podcast. My name is Rolf and I am the host of the Traders Improve podcast where I release a new podcast episode every week. I'm also the co-founder of TradeCity.com and Edgewonk.com and I've been trading myself for over 16 years. In this week's podcast episode, I'm discussing the question, how do you find the right trading strategy for you? Many traders are actually aware of the fact that you have to find a trading system that suits you and is well adapted to your personal strength and your weaknesses. But after having worked with thousands of traders over the years, I have seen that the true meaning of this statement and how to actually find a trading system that fits you, most traders don't fully understand or they approach it from a wrong angle. And it is so important to find or to build a trading system that fits you personally. If you're trying to trade a trading strategy that is not fully aligned with your personal strength and your weaknesses, you will quickly run into problems. You can have the greatest trading system that is working very well for some other trader, but then you try it out and your results are completely different and you just can't make it work. I've seen this so many times. You need to have a trading system that is adapted to your own personal situation, your strength and your weaknesses. But how do you get there and what are the parts of a trading strategy that you need to adapt to yourself? When confronted with this question, most traders will straight away jump to the old discussion of price action versus indicators. They will dive into moving average settings. Should you use a 20 or a 14 period RSI? And they get into the nitty gritty of how they are finding trade entries. And yes, I will also cover this part of your perfect trading system in a few moments. However, the most important part of your trading system is something else. And if you've been struggling with finding the right trading system for you, then I'm quite positive that the reason is not a wrong moving average setting or an incorrect use of support and resistance. The reason why a trading system doesn't suit you is usually found somewhere else. In the first step, we should look into the overall design of the system and the broader parameters because this is where the true differences of your trading system exist and this is how you adapt the system to your personal situation. For example, we can start at your personal situation, your circumstances. Then this means the time availability. If you are not a full-time trader yet, you still have a day job and you cannot freely watch your charts around the clock, time availability components need to be addressed first because this determines what kind of trading system overall you are even able to trade. And if you are not aligning the system that you are trading to your situation, you will quickly run into problems because it's just not possible for you to execute the system as it is designed to work. Trading the lower time frame and trading a few hours a day as a day trader might not even be an option and might not even be possible for you. For that reason, many amateur traders start out on the higher time frames. Some of the traders that I am mentoring and have mentored have also negotiated that they get one weekday off from their regular day job and then they spend it fully on their day trading if they feel that day trading is really where their strengths are. And you can also use your holidays to dedicate to day trading specific sessions as well to try it out and to see if this is what is working well for you and if this is where your strengths are. Second, I would address the need to trade for you personally and which means also then the trade frequency. So how many trades and how often does your system generate trading signals? I've mentored many traders that have a need to trade, which means that they are better off using a trading system that generates trading opportunities regularly and they don't have to wait for a long time between their signals. Of course, you could also try to work on yourself and start forcing yourself into trading higher time frames with more waiting time and fewer trading opportunities. But in the beginning, it is usually easier to just tailor your system around your current strength and weaknesses and not try to completely reshape your personal situation and your frame of mind. Getting into trading alone is already challenging enough and then trying to turn yourself around at the same time might be asking too much for most aspiring traders in the beginning. So it's really important that you are aware of how waiting for trades make you feel or if you start making bad trading decisions when you get impatient 
And this is a very, very important factor when considering the framework of the system. So should you generally be trading a higher or a lower time frame? is a question of trade frequency, but also on the time availability that you have based on your personal uh, situation with your day job and other obligations with your family and hobbies as well. Next, I would address the ability to handle open positions and risk factors. If you are trading on the higher time frame, if you hold your trades for a longer amount of time, you will typically have to hold your trades overnight, over weekends sometimes, and also during news events. And I've seen that different traders deal with those different types of situations very, very differently. Whereas some traders have no problem sleeping and being in a trade while they cannot watch the trade and while they're sleeping and while they're at a job, other traders cannot handle the stress and they make bad trading decisions when they're trying to trade such a system. They are mismanaging their trades, overmanaging, and in general, just making very bad risk management decisions. So it's really important that you understand your personal situation when it comes to those types of risk factors as well. And then you build a trading strategy based on how you are best able to handle it. If you cannot stay in trades overnight, then a swing trader is probably not the right approach for you and you are not able to be a swing trader maybe just yet. Or you have to address this in your risk management so you have a very limited and very reduced position sizing so that even if something happens overnight, which you will never be able to predict in advance and it can always happen, there are always black swans uh, possible in trading and in the financial markets, especially in those very unpredictable and volatile periods of 2022, 2023, and who knows what might be ahead. So it's very important that you address this and that you also get a feel for how you respond to those types of situations. You have to start paying very close attention and start being aware of your personal makeup, your responses. And hopefully you also have a trading journal like Edgewonk where you are then able to reflect on your decisions. You are able to review your trades and then also find patterns in your behavior that can help you understand yourself better as a trader. And those are, I would say, the basic frameworks of your trading system and they will typically help you understand of whether you should be trading a higher time frame, where patient is a bigger factor, where you don't have as many trading signals necessarily, but also other things such as the amount of instruments you are or should be watching. Do you easily get overwhelmed and you are not good at fast decision making? Then trading fewer systems and fewer um, instruments is usually the right approach. If you have problems with patience and you are still having to trade the higher time frames because of your personal life conditions and circumstances, then you might want to add more instruments so that even though individual trades will take longer to play out because you have more markets that you are watching overall, you still get a good amount of trading opportunities every week. And this is very important that you address this type of questions uh, first so that you understand which way to go down as a trader. And I have seen it in my mentoring very often that once a trader understands what type of trading system he should be going for and the broader framework, then often the things fall into place. And previously, if a trader was trading a system that is not well aligned with his personal situations, then he is not often able to execute the trades optimally and he's often not even aware of why. But once you start becoming aware of it and once you understand what are the different parameters of a system and how do those things manifest in your day-to-day -day trading, then you'll be able to understand those parameters and those factors uh, much better. And then of course, we can go also into the strategy specifics. So how do you find entries? How do you manage your trades? Do you use price action indicators? What are the types of tools that you are using? And also the, the, the length and the period session uh, settings for your indicators. And some tools may make more sense to individual traders. However, my view over after having traded myself for 16 years and I've been mentoring thousands of traders for the last eight years has shifted over the years because the traders or many traders will say that indicators are not for them. They're not their thing. Maybe they have prejudice against indicators. 
What I can often see is that those traders just haven't learned what indicators truly are, how to use them properly, and they use them ineffectively and maybe even in a completely wrong context. And once a trader is able to see the beauty and the, the use cases for specific indicators, very often their viewpoint changes. And for that, what I would recommend is try out different tools and get a feel for the execution and for the differences between the different tools. And when I say try out different things, I'm not meaning just blindly jumping around trading systems and always trying something new, but I do mean that you do this with a very concrete plan and um, intentions. So it's done intentionally or in, and not impulsively. What I would recommend is that you do regular backtests. I recommend this to all of the traders that I mentor and I've seen that the traders that put more time into their backtest and that they try out different systems, but they try it out in a way where they backtest the system, they collect the stats, they really get a feel for the system and they dedicate maybe a month or two months to a specific system, they spend a few hours backtesting it, then they will be able to come to a solid conclusion of how they feel about the system. They will typically learn much more about the tools that they are using and they will also really advance in their trader's journey. And if you go this way of thoroughly backtesting and record keeping, you will be able to shift your, your focus and you will be able to shift your view on the different tools. And then you can make much better trading decisions. What has to happen then also is that your overall focus have to, has to shift on how you plan for your trading journey or your so-called trading career and your trading path as an expiring trader. You have to get away from the mindset that you are trying to make a lot of money right away in your trading, especially in your first two to three years. The focus should not be on trying to make as much money as you possibly can and trying to get rich very quickly. But your focus should be really on trying to understand the ropes of trading. Your, your focus should be on trying to understand what type of trader are you, where are your strengths, where are your weaknesses as well. And also at the same time, trying different systems out, going to a higher time frame, going to a lower time frame, trying a, a price action only system, trying an indicator only system. I've seen and talked to many traders around the world, professional traders, and they trade very differently. I've seen professional traders trade only with indicators. I've seen traders trade profitably and professionally only with price action. And it's not so much about the system and the tools that are using, but it's about everything else that makes sense to them. And how they have found a system is usually through just trial and error, but trying things out with purpose, with intention, with record keeping professionally, not jumping blindly around on Twitter or forums and trying to find the next best thing. And all of those things are going into the question, how do you find a perfect system? So unfortunately, there's no one size fits all answer here. However, what I have seen time and time again is that's a process. It's a repeatable process. It's not that it's completely in the unknown. Of course, there are so many unknowns and there are so many variables in trading. However, the path that the best traders that I have seen take is usually very similar. They give themselves time, they don't rush, they don't try and force and only look at the side of the money side of trading, but they really try to understand it, they are curious, they try out things, they put a lot of time into backtesting, into record keeping, into analyzing, and then over time they slowly progress and move into the right direction. And this is then how you typically end up in a situation where you have a perfectly well-adapted trading system that fits to you in all types of areas and all the parts and all of the components are perfectly aligned to your own situation. And this is also one of the big components and the big parts what I'm doing in my new trading program, the Trade Academy. I've been doing mentoring of traders for many, many years. And in the beginning, what I would be doing is I have a trading system and I would share it with other traders. 
However, what I have found the best results are that I give traders options. I show them different systems and I show them different ways how to adapt the system to your own personal situation. And I try to show those traders also what are even the parts of a trading system that you can adapt, that you can change and that has to be adapted to your own situation. And I have seen that once traders understand not only the system, but how to adapt a system and how to build a system, how to backtest, how to go through the process of creating a new system, combining rules, what are the different components of a trading system that need to be addressed. This is where you see the biggest progress that the traders make. And if you're interested in the Trade Academy, make sure to check the link in the podcast description. Or if you're watching this podcast on YouTube, there's also a link in the, in the video description. And if you're interested in taking your trading journey to the next level, have me as your trading mentor, then I look forward to seeing you in the Trade Academy.